day three at Defense and Security 2022. This is Chaitali Bag taking you live from the show from ADU. And I'm privileged to have with me Commodore Sanjay Kumar Jha, who is General Manager Design with Brahmos. Brahmos has a huge pavilion here with a lot of displays as usual, which makes a mark in the Indian pavilion. Welcome, sir. Welcome to our chat show. And thank you so much for your time. Thank you, Chaitali. It'll be a pleasure. So, sir, we will begin the interaction today with you by asking Brahmos exactly what Brahmos is having in the, at the platter at the Defense and Security 2022. Well, uh, thank you for the question. Uh, Brahmos, uh, as a brand today, is recognized around the world. And what we have in uh, to offer in the platter here is uh, one of the fastest missiles. Uh, known in the world, the fastest cruise missile in this category, which travels close to 3 max speed, almost 2.7, 2.8, throughout the trajectory from launch to hit uh, of about 290 kilometers. And the strength of the product that we are here to offer is its commonality in use in a naval ship, uh, from a submarine, from uh, uh, mo mobile autonomous launcher for the army applications or to be fitted on an aircraft uh, that is the fighter aircraft. So this is a very versatile product we are here to offer which can be uh, finding applications across the board within the services with the primary strength that the support infrastructure for any country uh, would be the same for the three forces and the missiles can be used interchangeably. Now, that's the strength of this missile. Great. So, since you are from the design, so you can talk in length about the products that you have here in terms of design work. Absolutely. Now, what exactly uh, are you looking for this specific, the ASEAN market, this Pacific market here? How is Brahmos looking at this market? What we are looking at is the, those uh, friendly countries in ASEAN, uh, uh, many of them who, show, who have shown a lot of interest in this product. What we are looking at is working with, together with them, understanding their need, configuring our system, and then moving it forward to see how they can use the system to deploy in their armed forces uh, with our cooperation, with our support, and uh, we are here to actually exchange this information with all the ASEAN countries and many of them have shown a lot of interest in this product and uh, we using this to uh, move forward from here on. Great. Uh, past three days I have seen a lot of delegations coming to Ramos That's booth. Right. So was it only delegations or you had a very good interaction with the industry, the private industry, which is also exhibiting here? Well, uh, it is, uh, I would say, a mix of two, because what happens is when the delegations have come here, uh, they have shown a lot of interest, and then the delegations have led those industries to come and interact with us to see how we move forward. Uh, so a lot of seeds have been shown, sown for the future. So I look forward to a lot of more interaction with both the delegations at the government level and the industries as we move forward from here. Next we talk about the High Commissioner's visit on the first day when she came and inaugurated the India Pavilion. And of course, the first step was at Brahmos. Can we know from more about from you how was her experience at the Brahmos and all the, because there was a very healthy meeting, a very promising meeting she had with the industry later on. And uh, that showed a lot of confidence among the Indian participants who were here. What is your take on that, sir? Uh, but the, uh, you see, uh, she is uh, the front end for us as Indians. And uh, uh, it, wa it was a great pleasure to have her here to uh, lead from the front. Uh, as we interact with, uh, we, we go ahead with the opening of this market. And uh, it was a great interaction. We could uh, have the opportunity to explain to her about the recent export orders that we've got and the perspective orders that are online and also understand from her what exactly are the requirements in this region. So it was a very, very uh, informative uh, interaction with her. 
and uh, we we really benefited from that because that gives us also the confidence to uh, have our uh, foot uh, here in this region and to talk about our product great sir and i'm sure uh, a lot of help should come from the bureaucracy and the diplomat sector for this kind of cooperation a cooperation between two countries india and uh, this region yes uh, see just by the nature of the product itself uh, this kind of a product like a missile uh, uh, moves forward only with government to government uh, uh, understanding at the first mm -hmm. level and in uh, that sense um, government of india has been absolutely uh, uh, encouraging us and leading it uh, by the, from the front of the bureaucracy and the government has been helping us in every way that's possible for us to approve ourselves and uh, in our uh, for, for our share we have ensured that the product itself has shown by its own performance the numerous videos that we are showing on the show which are all available on the inter internet and we always say these are not doctored videos these are of actual launches so it's for the world to see how precise and how accurate this mm. weapon is sir is it only about the product exchange and product um, coming here or brahmos is also interested in technology exchange no uh, see technology exchange is a, a, a very broad term mm -hmm. where what happens is uh, when a missile like brahmos has to be installed a lot of activity that has to do with its alignments with the installations with its uh, storage uh, capacities the, the we call it the technical positions and stuff like that so at the first step we do transfer or exchange that technology with the home country so they begin to grow with us and we train them as they become because this is a very niche technology and it is high end and what is of priority in this is that its precision its 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 uh, capability to fire every time the press uh, push button is pressed so uh, i i would say that there is exchange of technology and information and it happens in stages but it does happen it does happen right not really of the missile per se because that is at a much later stage but definitely when uh, the tps have to be made the uh, ship construction activities have to happen installations have to happen it is the local company who cooperate with us great thank you so much sir and i'm sure next year when we meet again at defense and security there's lot more to talk about there are lot many more delegations which might come up and of course lot many collaboration should happen Absolutely, it's uh, it will be a pleasure uh, to meet again next year. And uh, as I always say, Brahmos is a happening company, yeah. so we are always working in new ideas, new product ranges, new innovations. And every time we meet, we'll come up with more surprises, and uh, our customers will only be delighted to see how we are progressing. Looking Thank forward you. to it, sir. Thank you so much. Looking forward as well. Thank, Thank you very you, much. Sir.